morning, this is Brian. Today is Tuesday, May 31st, 2022. I am near Stevenson Peak in the Laguna Mountain Recreation Area in East County, San Diego County. And it's time for a Spotlight on Plants video. So today's Spotlight focuses on the small, low-growing Little Monardella. And it's this plant here, Monardella Nana. It is a small perennial herb to subshrub in the mint family, the Lamiaceae, and it's small. <laughs> what can I say? It's small, low growing, and it's quite a showy little ground cover plant that is found in the openings of chaparral and woodland. Whereas here we are, we're in Pinkbrack Manzanita, Canyon Live Oak, Birchleaf Mountain Mahogany, Hollyleaf Cherry Chaparral here at 6,000 feet in the Laguna Mountains. And so this is a more of a montane plant here, not found at the lower, super lower elevations. And as you can see, the leaves are small. They're kind of small and oval, ovate. I'll put it on my pant leg. So... You can see right there, the leaves are small and ovate with a short leaf stalk or petiole, and they're a medium green. This is just a dead leaf because I'm not going to pick live green tissue off the plant. I don't like doing that. And it has a very, very awesome fragrance. Very nice, kind of like a little mixture of mint and thyme together. So it's a very fragrant plant, of course, being a member of the mint family. That's to be expected with a lot of species in that family. And as you can see here, very low growing. And they do develop some woody tissue with age, so we might be able to put this in the realm of ground cover slash subshrub. Um, the higher portions of the plant are obviously much more herbaceous, but yes, it does have some woody tissue lower down. And then we have these things that look like flower petals. These are the inflorescences of the Monardella. And it's very common in Monardella to have these crazy inflorescences. So this is not one flower. This is a, a, a series of flowers subtended by these whitish bracts. So these petals, what look like petals, are actually bracts. The flowers are very small. Very small, and they have these little white lobes. So you can kind of see right here little thing I'm touching with the tip of my finger this right here those are the individual flowers so they grow in these clusters at the tip of the stem and they're subtended by these whitish bracts sometimes with a little bit of a purplish uh, purplish uh, color sometimes around the edge of the bracts and here we are a little more in detail if you look inside of the inflorescence you can see the little tiny little tiny flowers coming out so this plant is not really super common I don't believe I've seen it before today came across this plant and I actually look was knowing yes this is a monardella but I had to look up what species this was but now I know what it is because I took the time to make sure I bring my plants book my native plants of San Diego County by James Leitner and that, a bo that book has definitely come in handy a lot for me over the years. I bought it uh, back in 2013 and kept it with me ever since. So yes, Monardella Nana. N-A-N-A. -N -A, like your Nana. Nana referring to the small size of the plant. And you see it likes to grow in these uh, semi-open spots. Uh, sometimes underneath the sh chaparral shrubs, sometimes out in the open. I believe is a relatively is a is a relatively endemic plant. Maybe Baja California and here in SoCal. I'm not sure how far north it goes, but I can put that on the I can put that on the description. But here we go. Beautiful little plant. Yeah, a lot of times in the understory of chaparral shrubs like Birchleaf Mountain Mahogany, Pinkbrack Manzanita, Mueller Scrub Oak. 
and so forth. So like I said, we're at just a little over 6,000 feet here in the Laguna Mountains. So you mostly find it in the, the higher montane locations here in San Diego County. Like I said, it's the first time I've ever seen it or noticed it. So I knew it was time for a impromptu spotlight video. So that was Monardella Nana, the small Monardella. Beautiful, fragrant member of the mint family and an awesome member of our native plant communities here in Southern California. I hope you found this video informative, helpful in identifying yet another species of awesomeness that belongs to our plant pantheon here in SoCal. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next Spotlight video.